Hello fellow hams, just a quick quick little video. Uh, earlier today I was part of a discussion on one of the uh, Facebook pages about magnetic mount antennas. Somebody had one sitting on a table and he was getting lousy performance and somebody else said just stick a metal plate under it. And My argument was that uh, you needed to have an electrical connection to the metal plate for it to be a true ground plane that just sticking the antenna on a metal plate wasn't going to make much of a difference. Well, uh, there was some argument and uh, you know, the, the way I am, if I'm not sure about something, if I'm not 100% sure, I'm going to test it. So down here in the basement I've got this old Magmount 5 8 wave 2 meter antenna sitting here in this back old coal room, sitting on an old wooden box. Coax runs uh, up and over this wall to my workbench where I've got a two meter radio. So I hooked up the antenna analyzer to measure the uh, performance of the antenna and uh, hopefully you can see that meter. SWR is about uh, two to one. Now we'll come in here and I got an old stereo over here with a metal plate. So we'll uh, simply take this small metal plate. It's not really all that big. You really should have a bigger one. And put the antenna roughly in the center. There's no electrical connection to the plate. It's just sitting on it. Now we come back out here. Sorry about the handheld camera. Same frequency, SWR is about one to one without an electrical connection to the plate. So that pretty much sews that up. If you really want to get good performance, uh, stick a metal plate under your antenna and you don't have to have an electrical connection to it. I had originally tapped this coax shield and uh, had a wire going to a screw on the plate for an electrical connection. And let's see, the SWR was just above one to one. Let's just temporarily connect this. So we have an electrical connection going on here. Now we're electrically tied to the plate. Let's go back and take another look. And the SWR has not changed. Still just above one to one. So that settles that. Now I know for certain that uh, you don't have to have an electrical connection to a ground plate for it to be effective. The antenna just has to sit on a metal plate. Bigger is better. I'm sure of that. And what I did to uh, tune this antenna, by the way, a little, a little quick tip. I uh, wrapped a copper wire around it and I can just slide this up and down on the antenna to lengthen it and shorten it. Uh, I'm not worried since I'm not outside and there's no wind or anything, I can just tweak the antenna that way. Quick way to do that. Copper makes contact with it here and you can just slide that. Well, I got it twisted pretty tight, but you can slide it up and down to, to quickly adjust the antenna. So, there's your quick tip for today. If you're going to use a mag mount antenna inside, put it on a metal plate and you don't actually have to have an electric, electrical connection to the plate for it to be effective, confirmed. Thanks for watching.